out today and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Let's go. I just finished donating blood. See? It's smiling face, eh? same as my um, face blood. Mm, it's not painful. I mean, it's my third time donating blood. So. Hi guys. Well, I just wanted to talk to you guys more about the things that I face, the things that I feel every single day. I am stressed. I am really really very stressed. I mean who is not right and who is not tired honestly. Everybody is tired. Everybody is stressed. Everybody has different kinds of things that they are depressed, they are angry, they are stressed and tired over. Like everybody thinks, you know like the, the image that you put out on social media. It's, I mean it can be very different from who you really are or the person that you really are but i always think that it's really very very difficult to pull out what you are going through and what you are feeling like the raw emotions online because then you'll find yourself thinking too much at things like whether people will judge you for feeling this way for having these thoughts um, people will think of you as an, an attention seeker you know that kind of thing but i just wanted to say that you shouldn't worry and you shouldn't have to feel that you have to post these things on social media. It's your choice and whether or not you want it out there, it's ultimately up to you. And for me, I wanted, I was really very very scared like, to come out about my eating disorder because firstly, um, growing up in this culture where all these disorders are bullshit. Uh, it's very difficult for me to come out and say that I have eating disorder, that there is something wrong with me and that I am unable to eat well. This is something that a lot of people don't know. It's not just an eating disorder but it's more than that. Uh, it's very harmful to the mind. You know some days I wish I could I could just be born again, you know, just be a baby. There are some days when I will feel so great and I will want to like recover. I wish I could do that. I really wish I could do that. And I know people might think it's damn easy. Like people can just say that, hey, if you wish to do that, why not just do it? Why not just go ahead and try? It's not that easy. It's not just saying that, yes, I will try. It's not just saying it out. But it's, it's the mind. It's telling the mind. It's convincing the mind and persuading the heart to do so. But like, even though you have the heart to do so, the mind, it's the one that you have to control and tell yourself that it's okay and that you want to be well. There are some days when I felt like that, that I want to be well, that I want to eat, that I wish I could have like regular meals, I wish I could eat McDonald's, I wish I could eat ice cream, I wish I could eat chocolates, gummies, without feeling guilty. And I really wish like some days I could just go to the canteen or like any food court, you know, just to order food, sit there and enjoy my meal. And I kind of miss that. I wish I could rewind time and, and let myself know that, you know, I am good enough, I am worthy and that comparison does me more harm than Good. Going through eating disorder for 5 years and then trying to step out of it is very very difficult. I want to be better for my own good, for my future self, for my future kid, for my future family and as well as for the people who I love now. It's not just counting calories and planning what you want to eat for dinner, for breakfast, for any meal. It's more than that. 
really more than that. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. A lot of people don't know a lot of things about me. It's that I keep my walls up really, really high. I hate to be vulnerable. And I think even though I may be suffering from daily thoughts, but, but I just don't say. I don't want to say. I don't want to affect other people. I don't want to burden anybody else. But I know that there are people like my friends and family, my sisters would very much love to hear what I want to say and help me to get through this. Okay? I don't want to let them worry, you know. I don't want to go on living like this, but I'm scared of getting better. I am scared of changing. I'm scared of a lot of things. It's not just like eating disorder that it's killing me, but it's like that there's a lot of things that I'm afraid of. My future, especially I'm graduating in less than six months. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just keep my faith and trust God and I know he has everything planned out for me and I just have to trust him and his plans is anybody feeling the same? <laughs> who is afraid? Hmm? who is stressed? who is afraid and who is so scared of the uncertainties of, of life? and actually I think I'm pretty much a very positive person and, yeah. I just hope that through my videos of me coming up to people